Today, guys, we're diving into an exciting piece of home cinema tech. This is the BenQ V5000i. This is a 4K RGB laser TV projector. And coming in as the successor to the acclaimed V7050i, which I reviewed last year, let's see how BenQ has raised the bar. So stick around as we compare it to its predecessor and see if it's worth the upgrade. All right, look at the size difference. The so V7050i on the left, and then here's the new V5000i. So the V5000i, guys, boasts a 4K UHD resolution, and like I said before, it is an RGB triple laser light source. It's got an eye-popping 2,500 ANSI lumens of brightness, and it's really designed for lights-on viewing. So you can buy the accompanying screen that's sold separately, and it takes the guesswork out of which high gain ambient light rejecting screen will be best mated with this. So you can buy that directly from their website. As I unbox this in the background, compared to the V7050i, the V5000i introduces a significant upgrade with the RGB triple laser technology, as I've mentioned before. It offers improved color brightness and a more robust cooling system, essentially for maintaining optimal performance. So this time around guys, the USB dongle that's included to include all your streaming like Netflix, YouTube, etc. and uh, control through Google Voice. It's running Android by the way. This all tucks in away very nicely just underneath this cover. So around the back you've got a lot of different options connectivity wise. You've got three HDMI ports, HTCP 2.2 compatible. That HDMI 3, by the way, will accept the 4K 120 frames per second input, meaning it'll accept, it's basically HDMI 2.1. But that's not the whole story and I'll explain a bit more when I talk about gaming on this. Uh, also, more importantly for me, it's got a 12 volt uh, trigger. Now guys, I'll go through some technical specs, but I want you guys to be able to view the picture quality yourself and make some judgments. Uh, so, so once again, guys, ALR, ambient light rejecting. This is the beauty of making this work in a lighted area. Very, very different technology than my theater. As you can see, even with all the lights off, I'll do, I do have the backlighting turned on. The technology here is very different. It demands a completely blackened room for maximum contrast. Look at this, not so here. So guys, another reason why this is very compact and really works well in my space is I'm very limited. Some of you guys have said like, you know, why don't you just get buy a 100 inch TV and uh, put it down here. You know, price is pretty expensive as well. But look at this, this is what I'm dealing with guys. And some of you guys may be having this issue bringing this into your house. I have a very tight 90 degree angle and a dead stop there. So I'm very limited on what I can actually fit in my basement. So first of all, let me explain how an ALR screen works. You see that sample screen or a piece of it that I have there. It's black on the top and this is where the projector would be, right underneath, and it's white. White light, as you know, reflects, and that's exactly what's going on. The projector is sitting here, reflecting up on the screen, and then on the top I've got lights that, uh, that it's basically rejecting. Just so you guys get a sense of the uh, video quality here, I'm gonna leave some awesome footage running in the background, but keep in mind, guys, this is being filmed, and uh, you know the variables, there's just too many of them to basically try and imagine what this might look like in your space. But I can kind of give you a general idea. You're gonna have different lighting. This is being filmed on my cell phone. It's 1080p, 60 frames per second. But I still wanna be able to convey what my eye sees. This is not gonna be an overly technical review where there's specialized calibration equipment being used to tell you things. I mean, that's absolutely fine in a blackened uh, equalized room or space, but you're gonna have so many variables in this. I wanna be able to demonstrate to you guys what these visuals look like through the naked eye. And, and I can tell you uh, pretty confidently what I see through the video that's playing back and what's on the screen is actually pretty close. And it's actually incredible. So guys, this is using their upgraded Android stick that uh, I showed you guys that was plugged in earlier. And it comes native with Netflix this time around. I have had zero issues having this on uh, my Wi-Fi at uh, five gigahertz and uh, no buffering issues at all at 2160p at 60 frames per second. By the way, right here, I'm just inches from the screen and look at the resolution, look at the contrast ratio. 
just beautiful. And this projector is able to cover 95% of the BT.2020 and 98% of the DCI P3 color spaces. Now, one of the things I was told to watch for is chromatic aberration. Uh, this is basically being a triple laser projector. Sometimes there's a resulting red and blue highlight around the edges of objects on screen. And apparently it's visible if you sit less than uh, 11.2 feet from the manufacturer's recommended distance. Uh, I personally haven't found that as a concern or a major issue at all. It's actually fantastic watching movies on this. It'll do 24 frames per second as well without judder in HDR. And uh, sports watching, just absolutely brilliant because it can do many different frame rates as well. Now as for gaming guys, there's some automation here that wasn't there before in previous models. It's got ALLM, auto low latency mode. It automatically detects a signal from a gaming console such as a, you know, a PS5 or Nintendo or Xbox. And uh, it'll optimize accordingly. It's capable of 4K 60 frames per second, which has an input lag of 17.9, but it'll also do 1080p at 60, 120, and 240, which basically has input lags of 17.9, 21.2, or 8.7 milliseconds, respectively. Also, the projector does have MEMC technology, and it reduces the judder and blurring effect that you may have when you're panning or moving very quickly. It's been actually a brilliant experience playing games on this guys. This is why I'm leaving my racing rig right in front of it just uh, inches away from the projector. And here guys I'll be quiet for a minute because I wanted you to experience the dual 5 watt tweeters and dual 15 watt woofers. Uh, it's got amazing bass and mid-range. It's, it's actually pretty awesome. It rivals some of the best sound bars I've heard and it creates this almost artificial surround sound experience. So listen. The projector menus, guys, you've got so many options in different picture modes as you can see there that you can experiment with. All kinds of calibration settings and tuning just to your liking. Now, ultra short throw projectors are very finicky in terms of placement, how, how far below the screen, how far out from the screen. So the projector itself has almost like these ruler guides from the wall, how far you should be for the size of the screen. And auto screen fit is an awesome feature. Um, you know, of course, a lot of times you don't wanna be using these kinds of things to set the screen, but uh, quality hit wise, I really didn't notice much of a difference from where I was sitting in terms of le losing some resolution. Ideally, you don't want to use any of these digital corrections and put it in the most ideal spot, but unfortunately, that's not a reality for a lot of people. Okay, let's talk about some pros and cons. And the upside, guys, as I've mentioned many times in this video, the V5000i's image quality is stunning thanks to its 4K resolution and RGB laser technology. And however, it's not all perfect. Uh, I did hope to see Dolby Vision, I did not have that. And then the 4K 120 frames per second at HDMI 2.1 is accepted, but it's down converted to 1080p. So is the BenQ V5000i the ultimate home cinema upgrade? If you're after a projector that offers versatility, stunning visuals, and can be bought with a high quality screen, then yes, and basically lasts over 20,000 hours of use. It's a compelling package, especially for those upgrading from the V7050i or new to the world of ultra short throw projectors. Do hit the like and subscribe button, guys. I will see you in the next one.